Hello everyone, today we're gonna be installing the roof light on top of our Tadjo Porter. This is the second time that I install a roof light on top of a van, so I should technically know what I'm doing, but I'm still super nervous about this job because it's a job that you want to do properly, you don't want to uh, water come in your van, and you ha just have to be very careful and precise on your measurements, and uh, it's something that I normally struggle with, so hopefully everything is going to be all right. For this project, you'll of course need a roof light. Uh, this is a 45 by 45 Fiamma roof light. Um, I actually decided not to go with an electrical vent for this conversion and uh, because I won't have any electrical system on this conversion, I will explain why in uh, a future video. Then you need a jigsaw with a metal cutting bit, a drill a screwdriver with the bits as well. Uh, you need some alcohol to clean the area uh, before you start applying any adhesives, uh, masking tape to protect the paint, a punch, this is optional and this is a very tiny punch that I use for my jewelry, but this is useful to mark the metal before you start drilling so that the drill has something to, to bite into, um, a marker for your measurements, a measuring tape and a square and some self tapping screws. Here I have different measurements just because I wasn't quite sure which ones I would need. And then I'm using some silicon. Um, most people use Sikaflex, and this is what I used for the last conversion. Uh, but I got um, this suggestion from a friend who swears by it, so that's what I'm gonna be using for the roof vent and for other jobs as well in the van. Um, and then we've got, of course, some Terostat. This is the bitumen tape that you put in between the metal of the van and the um, vent itself. First things first, we're gonna take the plastic bit um, of the van. This is the part that stays inside the van. We're gonna take all the measuring tools and we're gonna decide exactly where we want it. the forecast before you start doing this um, I was just about to cut the hole and then I realized that it was uh, about to rain and it rained for two days so you'll definitely want a sunny day for this job anyhow I have signed the center uh, of my hole and I'm gonna drill the, the this hole from the inside so then from the top I can know exactly where the center is because um, I have very little leeway and I don't want to make any mistakes uh, so this is where I'm gonna start and then from the top we're gonna take the measurements of the outside of the cut and cut it from the top here we have a little hole let's go and check it from the top that's a little hole, so now I'm gonna mark the perimeter of the vent and then we're gonna make uh, four holes in the four corners. Now that I checked around 12 times if the measurements are correct, I'm ready to drill the four corners of the perimeter of the roof vent. Um, this will allow the jigsaw to the jigsaw tip to enter the metal because otherwise you wouldn't have an entry point and also to um, cut uh, nice corners, nice um, square corners. Now that we've got the four holes drilled, I'm gonna apply some masking tape on the edges of the perimeter to protect the paint from chipping. It is time to face our fears. It's time to make the big hole. Um, I've got the jigsaw with a metal cutting bit on it. So I'm carefully gonna cut the perimeter. I've got safety glasses because you don't want any metal chips getting in your eyes so gonna get all my courage in and we're gonna do it anyway we can go back because i already made five holes on the roof of the van so the only way through is forward I 
realized I made a smaller hole than what I actually need. I didn't take the right measurement, but that's okay because it's always better to have a smaller hole than a bigger hole. So I retraced the uh, new measurements and I'm gonna trim this little bit out and then hopefully this should fit snugly. The roof vent fits just right, but I'm not too happy with the cut that I've done. Uh, it's quite rough, so I'm gonna file it with a metal file and hopefully that will smooth the edges out. Now I have some bare metal that I need to take care of, so I'm gonna apply some anti-rust, actually. This is not an anti-rust, it's a rust converter um, thing. I don't know if it's the same thing, but I guess they do kind of the same job. So I'm gonna apply this, let it dry, and then apply some filling primer. Uh, again, that's just to avoid any rust, uh, any metal rusting. Um, Now ready to apply the Terrastat tape. Uh, this is a bituminous tape that it should make a really good watertight sealant between the metal and the roof vent. But before I do that, I'm just gonna give it a quick clean of the surface with some alcohol. I'm just gonna cut the bitumen tape to the size that I need it. Um, this thing is sticky, so you'll need good scissors for it. Turn it and do the same on the other sides. Now we can place the roof light, making sure that we are facing it the right direction, which is this side. Okay, now we are ready to attach the vent. Um, using the self tapping screws those actually didn't come with the vent itself I had to buy them separately which was a bit of a bummer <laughs> I forgot to say that I added a wooden structure around the roof vent. This is so that the screws had something to grip into at, and to make the whole thing sturdier. Okie dokes, the roof vent is in and fixed. Now, just need to remove the extra bitumen tape from the sides and then fill the edges with um, silicone and then we are done. So the roof vent is all sealed in. I have sealed all of the screw heads as well, just to make sure no water can sneak in. Now I'm gonna put a cardboard box on top of it, just because there's a lot of leaves floating around and I don't want them to be embedded in my silicon. And then I'm just gonna let it cure until tomorrow. The roof light is nice and fixed and as you can see I have worked on the van so you can expect videos on insulation, on putting the roof up, the cladding, the floor, they're all coming. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek of how it looks at the moment before I start adding any furniture but before I do that I wanted to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with tens of thousands of online classes and members across 150 countries who come together to find inspiration for any stage in their creative journey. Do you remember when I said I wouldn't be surprised if the next time I log in there's going to be a van conversion class? Well, now they have one. The class Intro to Van Life Step-by-Step -step Guide to Get You on the Road by Diana Dunn is a fabulous class 
class for anybody that's interested in converting a van but doesn't know where to start. The class has a segment on how to plan the layout of the van, but also what to expect in terms of costs. And it also has segments on the water system, the electrical system, insulation, just to name a few. The class is straight to the point and very clear, because the thing is, Online, you can find so much content about van conversion. There's definitely not a lack of it. But the thing is, when you're starting out, hearing so many different people saying different things about what the best way is to convert a van and having contrasting opinions can be very confusing and paralyzing because you don't know what the best thing is. And it's just, there's too many opinions. This is why I love Skillshare. It's just a place where you can go and find high quality content um, that is organized and that is made from people that know what they're doing without having to scramble all over the internet trying to find the information that you need. Skillshare membership can help you to engage and keep up with your hobbies all year long thanks to the 12 month subscriptions. It's a perfect way to start and keep up with your new year's resolutions. And now it's the perfect time to invest in yourself because they're having a huge Black Friday sale. I think that Skillshare makes a great present as well. Instead of giving a material gift that maybe that person doesn't need, you actually open the door to more creativity and to self growth. And let's say your sister or your friend finds a hidden talent uh, in animation or photography. You could be the one saying, it was all thanks to me. Invest in yourself in this holiday season. Take advantage of Skillshare's best deal of the year. For a limited time only, use my link to get 50% off your Skillshare subscription. I actually got a wisdom tooth extracted this morning and I'm really struggling to talk and I probably shouldn't talk this much. So I'm going to show you the van and I shall see you next time. This is how the van is looking at the moment. Right now I'm working on the bench to put over there to cover the engine bay. And then I will need to add the bed, add a small kitchen and then I should be done. Mm -hmm.